What's up? How are you guys this week? As usual, we have some new products for you guys, and I think it's pretty impressive that for the most part, just about every single week, we've always had something new going on. And then some good news with some not so good news. But before we jump into anything, I just wanted to read some very kind reviews we received over the past week or so. So we have a five star review for the pork share. Liverwurst, liver best. Wow, that was the best liverwurst I've tasted. The best way I can describe it is like chicken nugget cake. Addicting taste, would love to buy more. We have a five star view for the organ grind. Healthy and delicious. The ground beef tastes wonderful with the added organ meat and so healthy too, totally recommend. Then we have a review for the beef adrenal glands. Great supplement, excellent way to supplement and assist with correcting adrenal fatigue. I would suggest a very small amount to begin with as this is very potent. Do your research, especially on this one. It's great, but it is an adjustment on your personal intake. So those were a few of the reviews from Frankie's Free Range Meat. We also have some for Frankie's Free Range Foods. Five star review for the pasture raised eggs. Absolutely amazing, fresh, delicious, and I can actually taste the difference. The taste from my childhood. Definitely will order again. Uh, so if you guys didn't know, uh, a few of you were kind of unhappy that you had to buy so many eggs on the meat website. So we decided to just offer lower quantities on frankiesurianefoods.com, but you guys have to pay for the shipping, which isn't usually too much, less than $10. Then we have a five-star review for the organic chewy chocolate chip bar. Kills cravings. Two of these and some meat, and I suddenly have no cravings whatsoever. It obviously shouldn't be the only thing you eat, but it's going to be a staple for me. And we have a five-star review for the water kefir. Great stuff. I really enjoy the water kefir. Tastes good and helps my stomach. Another quality product from Frankie. Then we have another review for the eggs. Fantastic quality. Have tried a large range of eggs over the past few months, although nothing visually stands out about these. Taste-wise, as well as how they make you feel, they are leaps and bounds above any others. All right, so let's show you guys what's going on this week. So although it's Columbus Day, FedEx is shipping. Unfortunately, my ice company didn't get the memo, so uh, we're waiting on the dry ice to come, hopefully within an hour. We have some egg orders over there, and then the rest of the egg orders and the Frankie's Free Range Foods orders. Everything is ready to go out today for you guys. So I'll start with the bad news. I guess it's kind of good news, but for me, it's bad news. The potato chips have arrived. Unfortunately, they cost a lot more than what we anticipated. Now, I don't know if this Amish guy is screwing me a little bit. I really can't tell you, but we're going to have to charge at least $8.50 a bag for these. Uh, I did the math on them, and I was hoping to charge $5.550. Then after he sent me this invoice saying, oh, we use so much coconut oil, the labor is crazy. $8.50 is literally, I mean, I'm supposed to charge $10, but $8.50 is literally as low as possible I can and I'm just above breaking even. So we have uh, seasoned potato chips with Frankie's steak seasoning, which is really delicious on them. And then we're gonna have the plain potato chips as well. So these are, you know, a few dollars more than what you get in the store, but there, there's no one else making organic quality chips with coconut oil only. And uh, before you shill losers try to guess, like me saying that I didn't invent coconut oil potato chips, you can look on like any website and go to any grocery store and no one's selling them right now. Like you actually can't buy them anywhere. So um, hopefully we can figure something out on the pricing and maybe get it down a little bit. I still haven't spoken to him yet. Uh, I, I got to try to get a hold of him. You know how the Amish are kind of hard to, to reach via phone. So maybe we can work something out and get the price down a little bit. Otherwise, we're just going to sell a limited amount at that price. <sighs> so everything else on Frankie's Free Range Foods for the most part is available. Uh, we will be making some more of the regular chocolate chip cookie bars, but uh, just check out the website, guys. A lot of stuff on there. And the potato chips will be listed today. So the two main things this week are, one, the Iberico bacon coming back in stock. This is by far our most popular product and best-selling just because it doesn't exist. You know, the Spanish Iberian acorn fed, that famous quality pork sliced then into bacon. You guys have really loved this. And the second major thing is both of our pork and beef shares are back in stock. So you guys can go on the website and, and look. There's a list of what's in the pork share. There's a list of what's in the beef share. And each one is about 14 pounds at $200. Again, that's the price we have to charge to, to kind of break even. There's an increased variety of stuff in both of the shares. You're getting, you know, two or three pounds of like seven to 12 different items, depending on whether you're getting the beef share or the pork share. 
Uh, so I will have that a little more organized tomorrow, but th those orders will be shipping out this week if you guys uh, do want all of the charcuterie and the smoked sausage products. If you guys are unfamiliar, uh, the reason we're doing these shares is because it's the only way uh, the USDA is allowing us to sell these hot dog and sausage and liverwurst products like that. So frankiesrangemeat.com, you guys can check out all of those products that we have available now. We also restocked some of the lamb heads and lamb intestines. So if you guys have been waiting on the lamb heads, I mean, this is the only way that we have the brains now. You just got to crack open the skull to have lamb brains because our supplier ran out of veal brains and we haven't been able to get lamb brains for a very long time. We also restocked the roast beef and the fire roast ribeye last night. So I know a lot of you guys like that stuff. If you were looking all weekend, didn't see it. Now's your chance. For the most part, we have everything. Uh, the main thing that we're waiting on is some beef heart that's gonna come in about two weeks. So I did wanna apologize uh, to you guys that are missing out on the beef heart. That should be, uh, should be back soon. And we're also waiting on some Wagyu fat, you know, for the Wagyu tallow. And a lot of you guys have been missing that. We haven't had that for, oh man, maybe a year now, but we are getting it back in stock. Uh, so we got some water keeper grains that I have to restock. And we did get a cheese shipment in last week. So all of the cheeses for the most part are back in stock. So we've been selling beef jerky for a while now, kind of ever since we started the business. And anytime I buy like a Biltong product myself, I'm just like, man, this tastes so much better than jerky. The fermentation really adds a lot of flavor. I like it so much more. So uh, we're gonna try to do uh, or get someone to make us a Biltong style on the beef jerky instead of what we've been selling. I just think it's objectively better. There's no reason to have like beef jerky when you can have biltong, at least to me from a taste perspective. So maybe we'll have that available next week. Uh, we'll see. It, t it takes a lot longer to make, but I think it's definitely worth it on the flavor end. On organ supplements, we've restocked a few things. We have the beef liver powder back and we swapped out the carnivore enzymes for the macronutrient enzyme blend. So we have some of this available and then this will be back in stock uh, maybe in a month or two, but the carnivore enzyme product is being discontinued because I mean, I don't follow carnivore anymore and I don't like encouraging people uh, to follow the carnivore diet. We also have the magnesium oil back in stock. And what's new about this is uh, we have a glass bottle now. Uh, accidentally bought plastic the first two times. I meant to buy glass and still making mistakes though. We accidentally got a clear label this time. So this is the magnesium oil with the MSM in it. And this is just uh, the plain regular magnesium oil in glass bottles available on organsupplements.com. Frankie's Naturals, everything for the most part is in stock, guys. Same thing on the Wi-Fi shielding. And we'll take a look at some of these products maybe this week or next week. So I won't talk too much about them now. So yeah, I think we've covered everything. And I got a lot of work to do and catch up on this week. But uh, haven't been sleeping too well in my new apartment, so I'm just exhausted and it really drags down everything else and I, I, ju I just really fall behind with stuff. So if you guys have been sending me emails, please just be patient. I've, I've been pretty on top of answering them all, uh, at least for the meat website, as well as the foods. I've been trying to catch up on all the other stuff. Uh, but by all means, if you guys have any problems with any order, any issues, please just reach out to me via email. And uh, I guess that's it for this week. So you guys can go to frank to support me through all of my businesses. Uh, yeah, so just a quick summary, we got the beef and pork shares back available on the meat website in addition to the pork bacon. Uh, maybe we'll be showing some of those products in the day of eating this week. Uh, maybe we'll have Biltong next week on the foods website, but today we will have the potato chips listed at the unfortunate amount of $8.50 per bag, which to me still isn't crazy because one bag lasts you two to three meals, it's just, uh, I got to figure out if this guy's lying to me about the amount of coconut oils he's using or whatever, but hopefully we can sort that out. But outside of that, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys. I'll see you for the next video.